How's it going everyone? This is Jay from Keyboard Gaming. There are a ton of free games on Steam, but most of them are really not worth playing. But I was quite surprised to find that there are actually a lot of great free co-op games out there. I played a lot of them in preparation for this video, and I've put together a list of 5 that I think are some of the best. I know Steam has a ton of different options, so definitely let me know if I missed any good ones. With that being said, here are my 5 favorite free co-op games on Steam. Number 5. We Were Here This is probably one of the most interesting co-op games that I've ever played, but it requires a lot of concentration and teamwork. The basic idea of We Were Here is that you and a friend are trapped inside separate rooms with only a walkie-talkie to communicate. There are two different roles that you can select, Explorer or Librarian. The role of the Librarian is to communicate with the Explorer to help him solve puzzles. The Explorer needs to look around the room and give the Librarian as much information as possible so they can figure out how to help each other advance to the next room. It's such a unique concept that it's one of the best examples of how puzzle co-op games should be. If you don't have proper communication and teamwork, you won't be able to effectively solve the puzzles. We Were Here simply can't be played with one person, so you definitely need to play with a friend. As an entirely free game with no microtransactions whatsoever, We Were Here is a great game you should definitely check out. Number 4. Warframe Not only is Warframe a great co-op game, but it's one of the best free games available. There is so much content packed into it that you never have to spend any real money if you don't want to. I haven't played it very extensively, but in the several hours that I did play it, it was insanely fun. Warframe is an action third-person shooter focused on PvE combat and cooperative gameplay. The entire game is impressively smooth and the combat mechanics feel better than a lot of paid games I've played. You take control of an advanced weapon system known as a Warframe and use your equipped weapons to take on enemies. Each Warframe has their own powers and there are tons of different weapons to equip. A while ago they released a new open world map for free, and they continue to add tons of content. Warframe is the type of game that requires a lot of grinding, but that grinding is actually quite enjoyable. If you go onto the Steam review page, you'll see people with thousands of hours in Warframe giving it great ratings. Warframe is also extremely easy to run since it's so optimized. It's a really fast paced action game, so it definitely won't bore you at all. I think anyone who gives Warframe a shot will instantly love it, so it's a great game to play with some friends. Number 3. Spiral Knights Spiral Knights is a multiplayer dungeon crawler game that's been around for quite some time. Since it was released in 2011, it looks a bit older than the other games on this list, but it's still a lot of fun. You start off by creating your character and fighting through all sorts of creative and interesting enemies. Waves of enemies will attack you as you make your way through the levels, and your job is to defeat them and figure out how to get to the next area. The whole game has kind of a cute feel to it, but its gameplay can draw you in pretty easily. Once you get past the first few slow levels, the intensity starts to ramp up, and it'll get better the more you play it. The controls take a little bit to get used to, but once you figure them out, you won't have any issues. The game definitely has a unique feel to it, and I think it's pretty fun to play. It doesn't have a massive player base, but I guarantee you'll have fun playing it with a few friends. Number 2. Destiny 2 Destiny 2 is such a great game that it's actually kind of insane that you can get it for free. I bought Destiny 2 several years ago for $60, and even then it was worth the money. It's one of the most polished and addicting games you can get on Steam, and it holds dozens of hours of free content alone. You can play the main campaign for free, as well as tons of other events to play in the open world. Friends can join your fire team, and together you can compete in PvP or co-op events on many different planets, and in several different game modes. If for some reason you ever run out of free content to play, there are tons of expansions and DLCs to buy that'll give you hundreds of extra hours of content. The weapons in Destiny 2 feel amazing, and it's an all-around high-quality and well-optimized game. If you're into FPS co-op games, then I definitely recommend checking out Destiny 2. Number 1. Dungeon Defenders 2 Dungeon Defenders 2 is an extremely underrated tower defense game. If you're familiar with Terraria at all, there's a specific invasion you can do called the Old Ones Army, which is actually a crossover they did with Dungeon Defenders 2. Besides that crossover, I hadn't really heard about this game before, which kind of surprised me a little bit. 
The idea of the game is to place defenses and turrets around to prevent enemies from destroying your crystal. There are several different classes you can use that each have their own weapons and defenses, and you can switch between classes anytime during the game. There is something about it that I instantly loved as soon as I started playing it. There aren't many games that grab my attention like that, and I'm normally not a fan of tower defense games, but Dungeon Defenders 2 is extremely fun. Eventually your rounds get extremely chaotic and more fun the longer you play, and it's a ton of fun to play with friends. There are the typical microtransactions that you can expect to find in a free game, but it's not intrusive enough to majorly affect your gameplay. The hub area is pretty small, but I really loved exploring it and learning more about the game. I think one of the coolest aspects of the game is that you can fight enemies with equipped weapons as well as the typical tower defense turrets. The different classes to choose from gives the game another unique element that I think makes it a really good game. So that's it for my picks of the top 5 co-op games on Steam. I know Steam has a ton of different options for co-op games, so if anyone has another suggestion, let me know so I can put them in future videos. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.